So to create a surface, we can right click on surfaces, create surface, or we can just go to surfaces and create surface. All we have to do for creating a surface, just give it a name, e.g. for the existing surface. The type of the surface is tin surface, indicates triangular, irregular, a network surface. So I will press OK. As you can see, there's nothing appeared really. There's no surface being created, simply because creating a surface, all what, you, what you're creating is just a shell, a name. You're creating a title called surface and you're naming that title. The information for that title is the second step, what you have to do just to add that information under that title. So we currently created the title for EG, but it doesn't have any information. To add the information, we have to go to definition. And from there, we'll find the suitable data that we can add to that surface. The current data that we do have and we can add to that surface is points. That's all we have yet. Just the uh, survey data or the survey points we got from the survey file. So I'll just add point group. That's the point, that, that's the point group that we created for the surface, existing surface points or e.g. points. I'll go OK. Now as we added the information, um, as we added the information here, the surface is being created. I just forgot to change the settings on the contours, the contour specification, which is that's that's fine. We can always change that from the surface itself. So just right click on the surface, we go to the surface property. You can see here we can change the name of the surface, which is we don't need to do in our case. It's called existing. And the contours here, just so we can see better definitions on our design, we'll choose one meter and five meters. That means one meter for the minor contours, five meters for the major contours. Background. Background refers to an existing surface. So what we've been working with so far is the existing ground. We're not designing anything. So it's not a design surface. It's an existing surface so I, that will give it just a different color so you can differentiate between existing and new or proposed designs so we'll go with the contours of one meters and five meters by the way you can change that settings it's always a good idea to before you change it copy to another title so you don't change an existing one so i just copied it to so I, how did i do that again i'll go back so i i select copy current selection copy current selection and I'll choose the contours one and five background copy. What I'll do, I'll change that to contours, maybe let's make them 0 0.5 meter for the minor and two meters for the uh, major contours. We'll go to the contours and we'll go to the contour intervals. That will give us for the minor and major contours. We agreed to change that to 0 0.5 and the measure to two meters. Apply, okay. So I chose the 0.5 and two meters background. Press okay, and you can see the change of the definition on the surface. We need to start working on refining the surface and amending the outcome with what we've got. One of the very common refinement work that you have to do in your surface, make sure the uh, boundaries all right because let's try to understand first of all how silver 3d creating that surface so if i change the surface property with the style of the surface from the uh, 0 0.5 and 2 meters to triangles i'll show the triangles on the surface as we agreed our surface type is tin surface it refers to triangle irregular network that means Silver so 3D will create line between each two points. So each two points will create a line. So that means every three points will create a surface. That's the smallest surface that you can create in geometry. Because two points will create a line, whereas three points is the smallest surface that you can create in a geometry area. How Silver 3D uh, connecting these uh, points here the same thing, Civil 3D will assume all these points here on the outside, what we call them boundaries, are 
part of your surface so there's no harm of connecting lines from that point to that point there which is not the case we don't want those points to be connected together the reason is as you can see here we have a um, indent into our boundary that means all these points could be connected together to create triangles between them and that's not what we want to do so the first thing we need to do to correct the error on the outside one of the quickest and easiest ways to correct that by applying a condition for the length of these triangles in other words i'm just applying a condition for the maximum distance between any two points to be connected and why we're we doing this because if you look at these points here are relatively close to each other comparing to these points are very far away from each other so if we apply a condition to eliminate any long distance between the uh, points all of these areas should be in theory deleted civil 3d will not include those on our surface so how to do that we can just click anywhere on the surface and we can go to the surface properties from the definition under build we can go to the maximum triangular length are we going to apply that condition we'll say yes and we'll start by applying for example at 25 meters for a surface that I don't know I'll try by applying a number as a maximum distance between points and let's see what will happen to the surface if we apply that asking to rebuild the surface we'll say yes as you can see here Civil 3D eliminated all these triangles it did work for the external part where the points are far away from each other but at the same time eliminated all these triangles between these points because they are far away more than 25 meters away from each other that's not what we want because that means Civil 3D will not create any surface at that area that's not exactly what we are after so I will increase the distance by 10 meters increments so that will be 35 see how the surface will look like rebuild the surface still I have these areas here I'll try the 45 I still have that one area there as you can see the one area there still eliminated so I'll go to 50 apply and that fixed that area okay so that's that's good enough and that's already eliminated a major error that we had here on the outside having said that we still have some points are not really accurate as you can see the boundary point is within the surface here but the boundary being drawn straight away from that point all the way to that point because the distance between these two points is less than 50 meters so we will look into another method for correcting that but before I do that I just forgot to hide all these points because we don't really need all these points to be shown when we're working with surfaces 